Hey, so it has come to my attention that um, sometimes people are losing some work and there are a couple reasons for this. Number one, maybe you forget to save because we're so used to Google Docs saving automatically for us. And really all I can do about that is just keep saying you gotta save, save all the time. But the other reason um, we could do something about. So sometimes files might get corrupted or um, something just might happen that makes you not able to access your files, like you get a different Chromebook. So we can back up our files and I'm going to show you how to do that now. And I suggest that you go ahead and back up all the files that you've made so far and then um, just continue to back up every time you make a new file. So I'll show you the backing up process and I'll show you the loading process to kind of get it back again. Okay, so we are in tick80.com slash create. We are logged in and I'm gonna click to start. Okay, so if I type help, there are a couple commands that will help us. Get is how we're gonna save the file and add is how we're going to load it back in. Okay, And this goes along with, of course, saving the file. You have to save your file first. So um, I'm going to go ahead and list the files that I have. So let's say I've already saved my file. Um, I can download any file that I want here by just doing the command get space and then the full file name, including .tick. So, for example, if I wanted to save um, lesson five, I would do get lesson five dot tick. When I hit enter, it tells me the file is downloaded. Um, on student versions of Chromebooks, it's not going to give you this window. It's just going to automatically download to your downloads folder. Um, I have to click save. And then um, if I I'm going to see where this is. My downloads folder is a mess, but here it is in um, my downloads folder. So this only saves it to the actual computer. So if you want to save it in the cloud to keep it extra safe, like you know, you lose your Chromebook or whatever, you want to save it to the cloud. So um, you would look on the left here for your Google Drive, and you can just drag this over. Mine's not wanting to open. Maybe if I go down here, I'll hover over this one. There it goes. And then over my drive. And then maybe you have a CS folder from um, first semester. Maybe not. Um, anyway, so stick it somewhere in your Google Drive. You may want to make a CS folder or a um, Tick80 folder for this. Okay, so you can just drag it over there and drop it. Do that for each file that you want to save. All right, so when you want to bring a file back, let's say, you know, you're, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this file. Danger Will Robinson. Don't do this. This is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so now if I do ls, oh no, I've lost lesson five. I need to get it back again for my backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and do um, add and just hit enter. It doesn't know what file I wanna add yet, so I can't tell it a name. And then it's gonna ask me to choose a file. You're gonna to navigate to the folder where you saved it, either your downloads folder or hopefully your Google Drive folder, wherever you put it. And then select it, either double click it or select it and say open says it's successfully added. So if you wanted to um, use it, you would have to load it up. And you can just do lesson five. You don't have to do dot tick anymore. The dot tick is really just um, communicating with the computer and letting it know what file type it is. If you don't do the dot tick, you'll get an error saying the file was not downloaded. Okay, so that's loaded, and if I hit escape, here it is, lesson five, jumping in gravity and on my code. Okay, um, so again, I highly recommend not only saving, but also um, 
downloading using get and saving all of those files to your Google Drive. I will say one more thing. Um, if you are somebody who likes to code in a separate IDE, like if you would rather not use this, you can actually, you can see here, you can actually save your files as Lua files dot Lua. And that is a, um, a text, basically an equivalent of a dot txt file that you could edit in Notepad++, even Notepad, um, just any text editor. And then you could load it back up here. That does involve saving as a dot Lua if you wanted to download as a text file. That's kind of more of an advanced thing, so most of you are probably not going to care about that. Okay, I think that is it. Make sure you back up your files.